Bulo Binaka, I'm Toloi Bastin Riketi from the Ministry of Agriculture. In this video, I will talk about the effective control measures of fruit flies. Fruit flies are a major pest of certain fruits and vegetables. Some of these include papaya, breadfruit, mango, guava, and eggplant. Fruit flies are especially attracted to ripened fruits, where they lay their eggs, and these eggs are hatched into larvae. The larvae feeds within the fruits and make them rot. We will demonstrate how to mix and apply protein bait spray and why you should keep your plantations clean at all times to effectively control fruit flies. But first, let's look at the fruit fly life cycle. A complete fruit fly cycle will take approximately 28 to 36 days from laying of eggs to emergence of adult fruit flies. An adult female fruit fly, when fully matured, oviposits its cluster of eggs into ripe fruits. This is accompanied with bacteria that decomposes fruits so fruit fly larvae can digest later. It takes one to five days for the eggs to hatch. The adult fruit fly may continue within two to three months of their life cycle to laying of eggs before its lifespan finishes. The application of protein bait helps to break the life cycle of fruit flies. It attracts both males and females, but mainly targets the females because it needs to feed on the protein in order to become sexually mature. Controlling and suppressing the female fruit fly population will reduce the overall growth and distribution of fruit flies. There are some plants that are very susceptible to fruit flies. These host trees are breadfruit, mango, papaya and eggplant. Fruit fly protein baits is a crop management requirement for all commodities under the bilateral quarantine agreement. So it is the responsibilities of exporters, farmers and biosecurity authority Fiji to ensure that protein bait schedules are carried out. The protein bait lures are bought and supplied by the exporter to all its corresponding farms. The mix ratio of protein bait lure to malathion insecticide to water is 50 ml protein bait lure into 4 ml of malathion insecticide and into 1 liter of water and this is sprayed using a knapsack sprayer. It is recommended that farmers wear protective gear such as overalls, boots, gloves, and safety glasses when mixing and applying the bait to avoid any contact with the insecticide. For breadfruit, it is a requirement that you apply six protein bait spraying before the first harvest and once a week during harvesting. Spot spraying is recommended on trunks of breadfruit trees. When it comes to mango, you need to apply three protein bait spraying for pickling stage and six spraying for mature stage and continuous at weekly interval depending on production. The knapsack sprayer is used to sprout spray trunks of mango trees. For eggplants, you need to apply two protein bait spraying prior to first harvest at weekly intervals and during harvesting. A knapsack sprayer is used to spray boundary rows of eggplants and then spray alternate rows thereafter. It is important for you to have a record spraying sheet which needs to be maintained at all times. This is checked by Biosecurity Authority Fiji on a regular basis. Additionally, 
MPI Extension Officers monitor spraying records and ensures availability of protein baits to all farmers. Unlike other fruits and vegetables, protein bait is not sprayed to papaya. This is because it is harvested at color break or at quarter ripe maturity where the fruit flies are not able to break the skin of papaya. However, growers must ensure that fresh papaya that is overripe has fallen on the ground or it's discarded during harvesting is removed from the registered site and surrounding area and buried or burned. Papaya is a fruit fly host and if ripe and left lying around, will provide a suitable breeding place for fruit flies. We hope you have enjoyed watching this video and most importantly, you have understood the fruit fly life cycle and how to mix and apply protein bait spray to control fruit flies. Thank <laughs> you.